Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work out the nth term of a linear number sequence. A linear number sequence is a sequence which goes up and down by the same amount each time. As you can see in the sequence that I've done here, the term's increasing by 4 each time. So to work out the nth term, first you'll need to write the numbers 1 to 5 above the top of your number sequence. Next thing you do is figure out what the sequence is going up in. In this case, it's going up in fours because five out of four is nine, nine out of four is thirteen, thirteen out of four is seventeen, seventeen out of four is twenty-one. So this tells us the nth term has something to do with the four times tables. So what I'm going to do is times all these position numbers above the sequence by four. So one times four is four, two times four is eight, three times four is twelve. 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 4 is 20. Now you should be able to see now, how do we get from these 4 times tables to the numbers in the sequence? As you can see, if you add on 1 to each of your 4 times tables, it will give you the number in the sequence. So what we did was multiply the position numbers at the top by 4 and then we added on 1 and that will give you the numbers in the sequence so the nth term will be equal to 4n because we times the numbers at the top by 4 and then we added on 1 let's do one more example so this time we've got 4 10 16 22 28 so first of all write the numbers 1 to 5 above the top next figure out what the sequence is increasing by each time as you can see you're adding on 6 so what I'm going to do is write down my multiples of 6 so we've got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 now what do we do to these multiples of 6 to give us the numbers underneath in our sequence? Well, as you can see you have to take off 2. So to get from the position numbers to the numbers in the sequence you need to multiply the position number by 6 and then subtract 2. So in algebra this can be written down as 6n because we times the position numbers by 6 and then take away two.